Join me on my journey as I explore wealth in all areas of life. I'm your host, Mindy Kinnis, and this is The Lucrative Society. Today, I am joined by the students of Lucrative Coach, which is my coach training program. They are going to help me out today by making this podcast episode. We're going to talk a little bit about the program, and then I want to highlight some of them because they are doing awesome work. And for those of you listening, it may be a good fit for you. If you were looking for a coach in a specific area of your life or business, maybe that person is on this podcast right now. So first, I want to welcome you all, lucrative coaches, to the show. Thank you again. And let's start out by just talking a little bit about the program. Who can give kind of an overview of what we have done over the last 12 weeks together? Well, Mindy... When I joined the creative coach, it was because I'd been listening to your podcast and I'd heard you say multiple times that when you started your coaching business, you knew you were a fantastic coach and you never had clients and you were like, well, where are all the people? And that's exactly where I was. I was like, where are my clients? Why aren't people just flooding to my website or to my door so that I can coach them? And so I was fortunate to be able to reach out to you and find out that you were just getting ready to open this course to students. And it's been wonderful because you've taken us through a step-by-step process of how to start a coaching business and then build it step-by-step and know all the things that we need to know from copy, how, where to go to find your clients, to how to speak to them and reach them and also some legal things that have helped <laughs> helped us understand the legalities of, of what we're doing and how to protect our intellectual information. Yeah, we're, we're laughing with that legal stuff because I was giving these folks a hard time earlier on this call. All their questions today were about legal matters. And I'm like, where is my lawyer friend <laughs> that was with us recently? He needs to be on here. So obviously I myself am not a lawyer, but have had interactions with a lot of that stuff over the years in business. So Vanna, thank you so much for that. Muriel, please. So I've been following you. I mean, I know you for years and I joined the program because I resonate with you as a person, first of all, and I've done other programs for my business, but never with someone like you. And at the same time, you're someone who's very spiritual, but you're also very down to earth. Business is business. And I was, even though my background originally is in finance and accounting, I was reluctant, well, that may be Franklish, to do the steps that are the foundations of the business, all the boring steps, like putting a business plan together, uh, you know, all the steps that are not coaching. I've been coaching people for several years now, but never with a business approach. And even though I was getting paid for it, it was not structured to know exactly one, two, three, that will bring me to a profitable company. And so this program has pushed me to do that. And it also covers the avatar, the the client avatar, which I've done also in other programs before, but never with your approach, which gave me so much clarity because you come from several angles and you force us to take apart the process, not just like vomit words on paper about who my avatar is, but it's almost like a strategic building of your avatar to know who they are and how you need to approach them because of those angles that you take us through to approach your avatar. So I realized that my my avatar, it is so precise now. I want someone who's spiritual. That's a non-negotiable because I was waiting so much energy in in my head, not realizing like almost unconsciously, me, me consciously saying, I need to explain that energy works and I need to bring that scientific proof. And that's, and I was wasting my own energy. Mindy, it was so clear that my motivation, my belief in my, my business, everything shifted. It's like my soul is guiding me. That's crazy, but. No, that's how it should be. That's <laughs> But it has never been so so obvious in my body because 
I never felt that I am now because of, I guess, because of what we've done, because I've done programs before about growing my business, but this time with your, it was so precise. That is awesome. I love hearing that stuff. I mean, you have not been to Heart Path, but like, that's the whole intention, right? Is to let this guide you. And when you do that, yes, you have all those insights. Yes, you have that intuition. That's where the intu. I mean, you know this, that's where the intuition comes from. And then when you're being guided by that powerful force, the universe rallies to make things happen on your behalf. So while you're going toward it, it is seeking you more than you are seeking it. It's coming to you more powerfully than you are going to it. And then there is that meeting point of creation. Amazing. Congratulations too. That's so exciting. You know, what was interesting in the beginning, month one of this course is all about how to coach. And there were some people in here that were kind of like, look, I'm already a coach. I know how to do this. And I'm like, really, really? Because what we're talking about is mindset and creative power and how to plan out your goals and your targets and all of that stuff, which is, is what you will help the client do. But oh, by the way, you need to do that for yourself. And then I'm going to walk you through that process of actually doing that over the next two months. So it was very, very awesome and entertaining for me to see the transformation with different people in this program of like coming into it, maybe not even really trusting the process or just not knowing what, you know, what I had in store for them, what they were getting themselves into when they signed up and then really opening to that process and trusting themselves because that's what it's all about. So I, I have loved this class. I want to ask John, if you would be willing to share, you have taken this course more than once now, and I'd love your insights on maybe why you came back again. Well, I started on this journey probably back in 2015 or 2016 with this idea that I wanted to be in the coaching world, having multiple businesses that I'm involved in for many years, I'm looking for something to looking for a change down the road. And I thought it originally that I could figure this out on my own. I mean, I can do a lot of other things. And I thought, well, I'll just figure this out. And I, I was never able to do it. So when the first time I took the course <laughs> was, uh, I must be a really slow student, but uh, the first time I took the course, it really was inspiring. And it gave me the process and the background understanding on how I could make a transition from what I'm doing to where I want to go. And then continuing on that, I, I kind of said, well, I, I could use a little follow-up material and I joined up again. And then I connected with you, Mindy, and we began to build the dream that I was looking to build as my coaching business. And when I, I will say back in 2016, when I started, um, actually I was working with Sean as well, and I had no idea what I was going to do. I didn't, I couldn't figure out where that purpose was, how that purpose could be. And you really helped me in the second round to really identify everything, all of the parts that I've learned in my past life to put it together and then how to take that and build it into a process of a, of a coaching business. And now the third time, I know for you listeners might sound like this guy's a really crazy. I came to the realization that I wasn't going to even be, even with Mindy's help, I wasn't going to be able to do it on my own. So I needed to partner up with someone that could do the job for me and help me and align ourselves with our goals and accomplishing what we want to do with help young adults. And um, so I partnered up with my daughter, Alana. I got her into the course and I thought it would be really appropriate for me to take it with her. And again, a third time through is the charm. And I think we're really ready to rock and roll on it. And I really appreciate everything we've done. And it's helped me with my daughter. It's, we've had some great conversations and I feel really empowered about going forward with your guidance, Mindy. So thank you. You know, I just want to piggyback onto that. I love this topic so much because we don't have to do everything ourselves. And it can feel that way as an entrepreneur. We're like out there by ourselves. We're spinning our wheels. Like, how come I can't get this going? But really, one of the things that we looked at over the last few months is what are your strengths? Like, what are you here to do? And then, John, to your point is getting the right people to help you that have mm -hmm. other strengths or something that is complementary to what you're doing. I want just every listener to realize that even though it's probably your idea or your business, it doesn't mean you have to do everything by yourself because I tried that <laughs> like you, John, you know, it's like, I thought I could do this all myself, <laughs> but
But the truth is, almost everybody can't, or at least we can't do it as well as we would if we had other people in the mix. So thank you, John, for that. I kind of wanted to piggyback a little bit on John, because I too have gone through the course a number of times. And for me, the first time I went through, it had such depth as far as after losing my husband and and knowing that I wanted to get back out and help other people once I had gone through some of my own growth and development, it was really important for me to be authentic. And that's what I found that first time through. Was it really picking so much up on all the technical parts of the coaching? But to me, that was everything because it just, it propelled me forward. And just to move forward and have that that foundation, the integrity of that foundation, to know that I could bring that into coaching and help others that way. So, and then, you know, all of the valuable content you deliver, the community that is, that you've created, you know, the individual people uh, within this community, it's nice to reach out to them and bounce our ideas off of one another and get to know each other and help each other out. So it's been invaluable to be in that sort of a community. I love that. Thank you, Jeannie. So I want to highlight what you all are doing. That's enough talk about me. Let's talk about you. Okay, so Muriel, I want to get to what you are up to specifically, because each coach in this program is doing very different stuff. And I I love the variety of that. So Muriel, why don't you talk a little bit about who you coach and what you are creating for people? So who I coach are single moms with teens who, who act out in sometimes self-destructive ways. That hasn't changed as a result of this program, but like I was telling you earlier, this program worked under the surface for me. I wanted to, I want to work with people who are spiritual, who believe in energy, who use the power of energy in their parenting. And I woke up one day, the last third of the program, with a vision in my mind, which changed the name of my business to Co-Parenting with the Universe. That's the name of my podcast. That's my URL, coparentingwiththeuniverse.com. And that's who I want to work with because I myself ended up in depression as a single mom with teens who acted out and a lot of drama in my house. When I bounced back, I looked at what helped me bounce back. And the universe, God, source, whatever people want to call it, was a huge part of that. Because everything that I could not control, me being a control freak, I had to surrender to the universe to go back to inner peace. And while doing the program, it hit me like a a light bulb that I don't even want to, for the listeners, if you are not someone who believes in that, that's okay, that's fine, but that's not who I wanna work with. I wanna work with the people who are aware of that, who want to use that power in their everyday life, in their parenting, and frankly, everywhere, because even in business, there is the co-parenting with the universe. So I help single moms go from being anxious and overwhelmed and afraid and guilty and all those yucky, negative emotion that we can feel as a mom when we feel that we don't do a good job and we are we are confused to a place where they're not alone they are doing that with the help they co-parent with god and i'm not talking just abstractly there are specific steps that you need to take that are connected to everything you do in life, the way you eat, the way you, you, you speak, the way you present yourself, the way you, you set boundaries. Everywhere in your life, you can summon and list the help of the universe through your actions and your words. And it just helps you keep sane in your, in your mind. Otherwise, you can go crazy. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I love about bringing all these different people, different coaches, different ideas together is that each one of us has our own way of doing things. For instance, Muriel and I both have a lot of metaphysical beliefs, but she is much, much more likely to be open and talking about those things than I am. Because as she mentioned earlier, I'm like very down to earth. Let's get the job done. Let's get the work done. Let's go. 
And it depends what you as a potential client, all you listeners resonate with. And that's what's awesome is there are coaches for everybody. There's all types of different people to coach, different topics to coach on. And I absolutely love that. So I want to go to Vana. Let's talk about what you are creating. Hi, Mindy. Thank you for asking. First, can I say that in my path through this course, you have been able to veer me back on course every time I started to, you were able to see things in me that I was not recognizing in myself. And you were able to help me stay aligned with my heart so that I could do fully what my heart is in. And thank you for that. I mean, you know, that's, that's my greatest joy. So thank you for saying that. Yes. All the questions that you asked were, were the ones that helped me just like, yeah, let's just, let's give an example. Is that what you really want to do? (laughs) (laughs) And I thought it was, but once I looked inside my heart, I could see that I belonged doing what is truly my passion. I coach couples who are committed, but have lost the spark and desire to really fully create a deep connection, a soulful connection together. And I was in a situation where about 13 years ago, I was actually preparing divorce papers and um, something spoke to my heart and said, not yet. Let's wait and see what he does. And my husband went from being a product of a really dysfunctional childhood of abuse and neglect to um, once he learned that he could be who he wanted to be instead of a product of where he came from, he really grabbed onto that. And we've been on this beautiful journey for the last 13 years of personal development and personal growth. And we've both learned so much. And as a result, the environment in our home has done a complete shift. It's the opposite of everything it was before. And it's, I'm so passionate about teaching other parents and couples how to eliminate the, the conflict in the home and that your home can actually flow smoothly and easily, that it doesn't have to always be a struggle and that we have a deep power within us in our relationships with our significant other, with our children, that when we try to force things, it actually creates a wedge. But when we use that power to create unity and express love, that things flow beautifully and relationships deepen, respect for each other deepens. So if people are interested, Muriel mentioned her website, where can people find out about you? What's your website? It's harmoniousfamily.com. Awesome, Harmonious Family. And again, to that point of, you know, we're all coaching on different things. I myself don't coach on relationships. So I'm going to send people who show up in my world that need help with the relationships to people that do coach on relationships. It just makes it really, really an awesome community. So John, you and I worked closely on your project. And honestly, it's been such a delight for me to help create it and help build it because having known you for so many years now and recognizing the dream that was within you, but then not seeing it come to fruition, I'm like, whew, how can I help? Like, what can we do together? So now watching it, that it is now created, I would love for you to talk a little bit about what it is. Well, let me talk about the the creation of it and how you did help me with that. I think it was really important, especially when I realized again, just like now with Alana, you know, I need, I need help. I looked to you and you, you basically made my vision a reality. Um, you helped me not only create the name, um, actually, I believe you created the whole name yourself. And uh, so thank you for that. And some of the content and help me build the website and put together the scheduling. And it was all laid out there, a beautiful plan that was over and above what the course was about. You know, I hired you, I guess, to be my partner in crime there. And now I had this beautiful piece sitting there. I'm like, okay, what do I do next? And I really want to get this going. And that's when the conversations with Alana came. And what Interpretine, our, our website is interpretine.com. It's out there, but we haven't got it like fine-tuned yet, but like you say, Mindy, all the time, just get it out there and get going. Listen, Um, everybody who's listening to this now, it's ready enough. Go check it out. (laughs) (laughs) Over the years, I was very concerned about being in business. We would get 
kids and students and college graduates coming into our organization or wanting to come into organizations. And they had, you know, they had gone to college and they've gotten massively student loans that really, that they couldn't pay for because they weren't getting the jobs that, that would require it. And that kind of led to understanding you know, where, where they did and try to find their uh, vision in life and, and what they did best and, and go more with their instincts versus what maybe their parents were saying. And then that led to the next piece, which really created Interpretine was during the pandemic, I began to see the struggles between a parent and a child when they were trying to teach the child from home. And using Colby concepts, which are instinctive based concepts, we help families mothers and fathers and children to understand their instinctive talents and how they actually get things done. To give you an example, if you're a quick start, and I'm going to be using terms that maybe most people won't understand, but let's say you you just kind of like quick start and you have a follow through child, um, you're going to have strife. You're going to have a resistance there because you want that child to do it one way and they want to do it another way. So what we try to do is get parents and the children understand how they each accomplish tasks, how they create processes or create energy in their life and how they use their time. And um, then after talking with Lana, you know, she was like, well, you know, I see that happening in our school all the time. And it's real problematic in the schools because the school system is designed to teach kids one way. And there's other ways and other modes that kids learn. And so our mission is to go out there and get people to feel or get the young adults to feel comfortable about how they go through things and not feel any stress that they're not doing it the correct way. What I love about that so much is that that's such a huge need. You know, it's it's very prominent and prevalent and often not talked about in media or other things. So a lot of parents and teens are struggling like silently and you guys are helping create a solution for that. So I absolutely love what you are doing. And just as a little extra note, John is certified as a Colby expert and Alana is going to be certified as a Colby expert as well. So they bring tons of knowledge and wisdom to the table and have a real passion for this work. So dear listener, I wanted to give you an insider's peek at what goes on inside of Lucrative Coach and introduce you to some of the great coaches who have been in this program that I've had the pleasure of hanging out with for the last three months. This is their very last class, so they are graduating and who knows, maybe I will see some of them again. Like John mentioned, he'd come through the program many times, which I love. Something that we joke about in this world is having slow learners with deep pockets. <laughs> now, I'm not saying John is a slow learner, but it's kind of the mentality of like, you know, it's great if people want to take a little more time with you through your process and through your program. And as people mentioned on this call, there's also the community. That's one of my favorite things about this group of people and our extended group of people, which is the Lucrative Society. These people are fantastic. They are world changers and they are out to do more good, which of course, I love supporting them in all of those missions. So if you are interested in the Lucrative Coach program in becoming a Lucrative Coach, the next time this will be offered live is in August. We're recording this in 2021. So August, 2021 will be the next time that I will be running the course live. Thanks so much for listening and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you, Mindy. Thanks so much for listening. Make sure to subscribe to the Lucrative Society on iTunes and please leave a review of the podcast. Visit lucra.com for transcripts and resources or to become a member of the Lucrative Society where I coach purpose-based entrepreneurs on business, mindset, and heartset. Lucra, where wealth equals well-being.